Hi everybody, Louie Diddy here with another video. In this one, I'm going to go over the Google Home Mini and how I'm using it for my entertainment purposes for video and audio. I really like it. I've been using Alexa a lot, but ever since I've been using the Google Home Mini, I've gotten rid of all of my Alexas except one, and I have a Google Home Mini in all of my rooms, my main rooms. So let me show you how I use it here in the office. Okay, Google Chromecast. Now in all my setups, I am using IFT and a Harmony Hub. Okay, I think it's the best of both worlds here. Okay, Google, turn on outlet. Okay, Google, turn on office lights. All right, well, a different one heard me. Well, that's why this one didn't respond, but it did it anyway. The Chromecast is booting up. I really like the Chromecast. It'll fit any of your televisions that have HDMI and when you're not using it for anything you can have it showing the news from different sources or different things there on the background it's very cool I like that for especially if you have a a nice television in your living room or anything like that but the real killer feature I think this has over any other voice assistant is the Google Chromecast integration in this case, I have a Chromecast connected to the back of this Sony Bravia, and I'm going to show you how you can use it to show videos on a display with a Chromecast either connected or built in. Let's give that a shot. Okay, Google, show me the latest news on YouTube on Bravia. Now, I don't have YouTube television. I just have regular YouTube, but it's really awesome. Okay, Google, stop. Right, so there was one example. I'll show you some others in my other rooms here, but I'll just keep it quick for each room here. Okay, Google, play music on Bravia. So I've set Pandora to, me, to be my main music source, and there it is. Okay, Google, skip. There you go. So I think this is great. And if you have it, depending on how you've set it up, this is the best way, I think. It also works with a Chromecast audio dongle. Okay, Google, stop. All right, so I'm going to be careful with the volume there. Sorry if I had to speak a little louder there. I'll try to edit that out. But that is the office setup, guys. I will show you two more setups here coming up. Alright everybody, so here's a second example of how I'm using the Google Home Mini for an entertainment center setup. In this case, I have a 4K Visio screen. It doesn't have anything connected to it other than, uh, really doesn't have anything actually. I'm just, I used to have an Xbox, but I took it into the bedroom. I'll show you that coming up next. but. Let me enable this real quick. Okay, Google, Visio. Once again, this is with Harmony and Ift. It turns on everything, in this case, the television and my receiver. And just like I showed you before, I use this for YouTube and also for music. The Google Home Mini, in this case, is connected to an airport extreme via USB for power so uh, it's a very nice way to save an outlet there but here you have the Visio booting up it takes a moment I'm going to turn on the living strip Philips Hue light behind it okay Google turn on living strip so I have a light Philips Hue strip behind the television that's really all the light I need so let me show you the uh, YouTube through the built-in Chromecast feature on this Visio. So there's no dongle in this example. Let's see that here. Okay, Google, show me the latest business news on Visio. So it's pulling up some business news from YouTube on Visio. And I think this is great. Once again, if you know the uh, name of the video, you can pull it up that way, or you can ask for something related to any topic. Okay, Google, stop. 
and in this case as well once I stop using it for video or music it's going to show me a screensaver of things that I've pre-selected with the Google Home application let me show you the music option here okay Google play electronic music on Vizio and once again it's playing Pandora since that's my music source choice all right so that's the living room like I did before I'll show you a quick view of the components it's really simple here all I have is the Google Home Mini okay Google stop and then I have a Harmony Hub right there just by being right there it can control the receiver and also the television I used to have a dongle the little IR extender underneath that but it apparently doesn't need it it can control it from down there I don't know if that's because of the Vizio or if it's the IR signals bouncing there but anyway that is the the living room example the Google Home Mini with the Chromecast video and audio <laughs> All right, everybody, so for the third and final example, we have the bedroom set up here. I have a projector, an Xbox One, a Boston acoustic subwoofer with the two speakers up there, and the Google Home Mini in the corner there on the left. Let me start it off with uh, the lights real quick. By the way, everybody, if you're still watching uh, at this point in the video, I'd appreciate the like. If you'd please hit that like for me. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me here. I'm almost done. Let's go with the uh, lights first. Okay, Google, turn on bedroom strip. Sure, turn on the bedroom strip. So in this case, I am using the audio dongle right there that I don't have in the other setups. And the reason is that since I'm using a projector, I don't want it to just be on all the time for music, right? So this allows me to just ask for music without a screen involved. And you can use that in other setups as well. Okay, Google. Play music. There you see the harmony working the music and getting that started. So this way I can always ask for music. I'll start playing from Pandora. Okay, Google, stop Pandora. And there, I've turned it off. So coming up, I'm going to show you the Xbox. I'll start it here so you can see the light. Okay, Google. Xbox. All right, setting harmony. Turn it on Xbox. Since I'm using the harmonies link here so that I can voice control the volume, right? Remember, you can only have harmony linked to one of these devices. So in this example, you can see that the uh, harmony speaks, right? I'm not using IFT here. I kind of don't like that, to be honest with you, because it, it just gives you a lot of audio feedback that really isn't necessary when it, it asks Harmony and then Harmony speaks. So in any case, the uh, projector's on and I will show you quickly how I use that with the uh, Chromecast video. The projector's up and running, takes a couple seconds, but once it's up and running, it's a great image. It's about 175 inches on the screen there. Not even a screen, it's a wall. I have some other videos that I made about this. If you're interested, make sure you check those out. I'll include those at the end of the video. And it looks great. Even though it's a cloudy day, it's in the middle of the day, I can see it very well. So once I have the uh, projector screen up for the Xbox, I can use it for gaming typically. But in this case, we're showing the Chromecast video. Uh, I have the dongle connected to the back of the Xbox. I usually pull this up in bed I do have to use the Xbox remote app just to launch the guide up there, the one guide. Once I launch that, I don't need this anymore. And there you have the Chromecast, like in the other example. So I'll just quickly show you the music and the video once again. I don't really use it for music that much in this setup, to be honest with you. I just uh, mainly use it with the screen off. But once again, for uh, YouTube or uh, Netflix or anything that's compatible with uh, the Google Home, you can launch any video you want. So let's try that out here. Okay, Google, show me trending videos on Optima. All right, 
So there it goes. It'll start playing a random trending video from today. So I think that's that's pretty cool. Just to throw anything up there. Let me stop this this uh, beautiful lady speaks here just a moment. Okay, Google, stop Optima. All right, guys. So there you have it. Once again, that was a quick demo of three different environments where you can set up a Google Home Mini and use your voice to uh, control music and video on uh, different kinds of screens. So thank you once again for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative at all, please hit that like. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment. I'm pretty good about responding. Please go ahead and share this with anybody that you think might find it useful or who's thinking of getting a Google Home Mini. Thank you once again for watching. Take it easy, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Just because I said I would show you, right? I forgot to show you this part, but just like the others outside. I don't really use it though, because once again, you wanna preserve the projector. I'm out everybody, thanks for watching.